Welcome to We Try. I'm Amy. And I'm Ethan. And today we are taking you on our trip down to Florida and back to Michigan. That's right. Second year in a row that we drove. And if I have anything to do with it, it's going to be the last year that we drive. So we kicked off on Friday around 3 p.m. And guess what? It snowed that day. We were ready to get out of there. We were like, get us out of the snow. First stop, because you gotta go to the bathroom. We have a kid. You all know that. Had to be McDonald's. That's literally what is around here. You'll notice a theme in our trip. We either stopped at a McDonald's or a Bucky's. <laughs> there's no, no, there's no really other, nothing really else going on there. The first McDonald's was more on the way to West Virginia. It was. It was in what they called Upper Sandusky, it said. I guess Columbus area, right? Columbus area. Once we got to West Virginia and it got yeah. really hilly, that was really cool. And uh, that's where we stayed our first night. We stayed in Charleston, West Virginia at the Holiday Inn. It was off the highway. It was a place to stay. A place to stay. It, well, it, nothing special about it. Well, there was one thing special about it. Do you remember? Mm-mm. There was a bird. Oh yeah. There was a bird, bird in, the in the lobby. That's pretty much what was special about it. So once we had breakfast, then we got right back on the road. The cool thing was it was nighttime when we got in. Yeah. So when we were leaving Charleston, it was during the daytime. So we started south towards Virginia. Then the mountains really started to get Beautiful. Big. And we went through a couple tunnels. Yeah. Which was super, super cool. cool. No, just one of those things that, you know. It was very unique. Very unique. Yeah. And kind of makes you realize just like how big our country is. Before we got out of West Virginia, we stopped at a gas station called Sheets, which I've never been to a no, Sheets before. No, first time. Be, like a, like a upscale or speedway. Yeah, yeah, I'd say an upscale speedway, but still a pretty cool place. Yeah. Nice, nice gas station and everything. So we got back, I mean, it was just a quick stop when we were right back on the road. After we stopped at Sheets in West Virginia, we, we covered some distance, we okay? Did. We got through West Virginia, we got through the little sliver of Virginia we were going through, through North Carolina. Mm -hmm. That's the first time I've been in North Carolina. We drove through Charlotte, which is a booming big city, which was really cool it to was see. Super cool. We finally stopped once we got to Fort Mill, South Carolina, and we found a nice like yeah. mall area with a Panera bread in it to stop for some actual food. And I would say this was like the first stop where we we're starting to feel some warmth, to be honest. It was nice. Everywhere else was still pretty similar to Michigan. It was like, whew, we're getting there. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> but we're not even close. <laughs> we're still, we're still know, really far away. 10 hours away. <laughs> we kept going and we made it all the way to Savannah, Georgia. So Savannah, Georgia was our stop for the night. Unfortunately, their pool was undergoing maintenance. That was such a bummer. We were all literally like two hours before we arrived like, can't wait to go to the pool, can't wait to go to the pool. We check in, we're like, how late does the pool close? They're like, oh, it just closed <laughs> yesterday for maintenance. It also had breakfast, which is also helpful in the morning. Yep, got some breakfast. And then we were off to Florida. And then let us know that the Florida Welcome Center is right nearby. And if you didn't know this, you should from our last video, Florida Welcome Center is pretty unique. And I-95 and I-75 has the same exact setup. So really cool, once you cross into Florida and you go to the Welcome Center, they offer you orange juice or grapefruit juice. So we finally get to Jacksonville, Jacksonville Bucky's, and it's not too busy. It's a little, you know, little busy, but not too bad. So actually, it was like the least busy least Bucky's that busy. I've ever seen. But one Bucky's was not enough. We had to check out the second Bucky's, which was in Daytona Beach. Well, one somebody had to go to the bathroom right after we left for Bucky's, or after we left the Jacksonville Bucky's. So yeah, we had to stop at the other Bucky's like right down the road. And sorry guys. It was chaos. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I've ever seen a Bucky's that bad before. It was swamped. I mean, yeah. back up to get in, back up to get out. That was by far the busiest Bucky's that I've ever been to. So we got, we, I mean, did our best to get in and out, yeah. but there wasn't really getting there was in, no and in and out. <laughs> but finally, once we got out, then we get on the uh, interstate going towards Orlando. Yes. So we're kind of like, hey, we're almost there. And 
We arrived. We did arrive. Disney's Boardwalk. We were so excited. We were pumped. We pulled in and we're like, yes. And then we got the text that our room was ready. It was like the best feeling ever. And we had the best time and we can't wait to tell you about our trip. But you gotta stay tuned for some of those videos. Fast forward now, we've done our week, we've had a great time. It's the next Saturday and it's time to go. And this time, we are gonna take 75. It was we just the most decided painful to grit route too though. <laughs> Yeah, and so immediately we hit traffic in Orlando. You get into Georgia and, well, oh. I mean, you hit that Atlanta traffic really south of Atlanta, but we did stop at a Bucky's first. So we stopped at the South Atlanta area Bucky's and it was pretty awesome. So after we went to the South Atlanta Bucky's, it took four hours for us to get to the North Atlanta one that much traffic in Atlanta. Guys, it was horrible. One thing we did though, we took some back roads. Yeah. And we took like a state highway. And that was cool because it kept us moving and yeah. it got us to see different parts True. of Atlanta. Like we went through a town called Hampton and we saw Atlanta Motor Speedway. That was cool. I just, the traffic this road was, it was really bad. I'm not gonna lie. So we finally made our way to Cleveland, Tennessee, which is where we stopped the last time. And we stayed at the Hampton Inn. They have a pool there, they have breakfast, but one really unique thing is we woke up and it was Easter and the staff had hidden Easter eggs around the lobby and in the breakfast area for the kids. So as Ethan said, our last stop of the way until we get to Ohio essentially was in Kentucky and it was the last Bucky's. We're so sad. And they did not have our orange sour mints. I even asked one of the workers, I said, hey, do you guys have any in the back? He said, we sold out four days ago. <laughs> so clearly everyone else likes them when they're driving down for spring break too. It kind of makes you think those orange mints like, hey, this Kentucky Bucky's, you could drive down here in a weekend. Like totally. we could come down and get some orange mints and go back home. Yeah, maybe not in like back and forth, like, but we could like stay one night and then come back. It, right. would, be, it would be worth it. We like them that much. Overall, it was a long drive back. There you have it. That is our road trip to Florida and back to Michigan. We are really looking forward to reviewing all of our other videos of our trip with you. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like and definitely subscribe if you want to see more content like this. We will see you next time here at We Try. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye everyone, cheers.